The New York Times recently published an article that received a lot of heat. It was about whether or not we can stomach cannibalism. Just in time for the Solid Green movie to become prophetic, I don't know if you realize this, but that movie was set in 2022. Uh, and it's not that the attention that the New York Times has received over this is undeserved. Uh, I think people are appropriately outraged. But there was one point in the article that seems to be true. And that's rare with the New York Times. But anyway, it is true that the number of TV shows and movies that show cannibalism appears to be increasing. There's sort of a, a preoccupation with cannibalism throughout modern fantasy. In fact, and it's not just inside of like fiction. Just a few years ago, religion scholar, not, notice I didn't say Christian scholar, yeah, religion scholar uh, Reza Aslan went to India to film for CNN and then sampled a human brain alongside cannibals. Alongside other cannibals. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and that was actually aired on TV. They, they didn't think that that was too problematic, apparently. I do think that this kind of conversation is sort of emblematic of the society in which we live, one that doesn't see supreme value in human life. I actually talked with Father McTague about this just a few days ago on The Catholic Current, um, and I think that as we look around in the society that we live in, we're sort of undervaluing increasingly human life. And in many ways, people are devaluing themselves. You see people who have very little sense of worth. Our deaths of despair are on the rise. We're not just talking outright suicides, but also deaths through various different drug overdoses and so on. Uh, this is something we should be paying attention to. And I once uh, talked to a guy I know who spent his lifetime dabbling from one branch of paganism to the next and we were having a conversation and at one point he said to me who are we to say what civilization is and he had that kind of a indignant tone and then he made a case for the subjective understanding of civilization and humanity and what we are to be and i think it's interesting because it doesn't seem to me that the sense that we have more value than animal is is anything other than a deeply Christian idea. I, I think it is. And as you look around and as that particular man noted, although he agreed with it, but um, in, other, in pagan cultures, this is not mirrored. It's not intrinsic. It's not one of the crucial value systems that you see. It is in Christian society that we say, no, man is elevated above beast and we have intrinsic value. Each individual human life is made in the image and likeness of God. Um, and as we think we move in more secular directions, you see something very different take shape. And you see that, especially, even if you look at Western countries that have more abandoned Christianity or have taken to different roots of paganism, you'll see more things like the the suicide pods in which you see the, the celebration of abortion. As long as we're getting rid of the the children who might have deformities, you'll see like celebrations of the fact, oh, we got rid of uh, this birth defect. Well, yeah, by, by killing them. Well, yeah, we can just get rid of all the cancers by killing the people. I'm sorry, I don't consider that to be an accomplishment. Um, but some cultures, if we can call them those, do, and that's increasingly becoming a trend man isn't seen as valuable in his own right, you know, from conception till natural death. And as a result, you kind of have this um, sense of a person's utility. And that's it. That's why it's, it's perfectly acceptable to abort the person who, who might have a defect. And it's also increasingly going to be more acceptable if we just eat them, apparently. Just, you know, suddenly people have become consumables. I feel like, you know, Nowadays, I, I sometimes struggle as I'm sitting here trying to explain these basic concepts to people. No, men are men and women are women and that they're not the same and they can't just switch based upon the feels. And I feel like in five years from now, I won't be saying any of that. Instead, I'll be trying to make these arguments about why we shouldn't eat people. And so I'm just kind of getting a bit ahead of the curve here. Don't eat people, people. Wow, you made it to the end. You have an attention span that's outside of the modern world, but I have more videos. And also, if you like them that much, there are ways to support the channel in the links below. Thanks.